What's going on, everybody? It is Friday. It is double video day. This is something I've been working on for about oh, a little over a week, maybe two weeks, and mostly because I've been doing a lot of uh, income taxes and stuff. So kind of was put on a back burner, but a lot's been going on with it. So stick around for the whole video. You guys are probably going to enjoy this. We're going to talk about eBay's authenticity guarantee. Almost had a tongue twister there. Then I'm going to show two results. One is from a part of a video, and the other is going to be... Uh, somebody had made some post about it and you're going to see how these cards are coming shipped. I mean, this is like seriously a disaster when you're talking about cards that are valued. At, I think the one guy spent over $30,000 on one card. I'm sure this other uh, Marvel PNG probably cost the guy a pretty penny too. So I'm going to pull up first. We're going to talk about the program. Then I will talk about incident number one. Then I'll go into the video for incident number two. So if you're already tracking this stuff, go ahead and scroll forward in the video. All right, let me see where I was at on here. I think it was this one. Ah, I was right. All right, so they came out with this. And look at this. No fakes, no fraud, no doubt. Professional authenticators, no cost to you. We're going to talk about that. And then their guarantee. So if you look, it's basically CSG, from my understanding, that's doing this for them. And it's basically $750 plus raw cards. They have to be ungraded. There's a whole requirement list, yada, yada, yada there, right? No cost to you. eBay covers all the costs associated with the authentic uh, thought. Uh, there we go. Authentication process for a limited time. Limited time. wonder if that's till March 1st, whenever they're raising their prices. Makes you wonder offhand. All right. There's their guarantee. We take fraud and counterfeit seriously. Have peace of mind knowing that your cards are genuine. All right. I don't know. I'm sure things are going to get through the system on them. We're going to see how this plays out long run. So this is how it works. All right. In case you haven't done it yet. Look for cards with the blue uh, guarantee, and you guys can kind of see it right there. So what happens is, is once you purchase it, you can have the seller ship your card to the authentication facility, which I believe is at CSG. They, in return, are going to verify it through some multi-point inspection, and then you're going to tamper-proof uh, sticker thing here in the back, right? Then they're going to mail it off to you. You're getting the mail and you're getting this pretty package that you could display on your wall or your fireplace even. I'm going to show you. Hey, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's your little display. That's how it comes. Now, what shocked me when I first seen this was, I'm like, why are we shipping this in a card saver too? Or one. I think it's a one actually. Why are we shipping it in that? I'm like, well, maybe the cardboard's pretty thick and it holds it in place. Because my thought is, if I'm selling on eBay and I had this LeBron James, I'd probably either set it in a top layer with a whole bunch of cardboard around it, or I'm going to end up setting it into with well, team bag, of course. Or I'm going to set it in my one touch or something like that. Why? Because it's a little bit harder to break, bend, crack, and everything else. So that was always in the back of my mind onto this stuff. And I'm not going to play their little cool video here or nothing like that. But it, there's a lot of stuff on here, facts, you know, their terms and conditions and all that stuff. But what I thought was funny is they say it's a, it's no cost to you for a limited time. My question is, is once it becomes a cost, does the buyer elect to pay for that? If somebody knows, please let me know because I do not do a lot of eBay anymore. And from what I've read in the boards and what I try to look up, there's really nothing onto it yet unless eBay mailed something out. Uh, with that also is why the price hike. Because this has been my thing is that you're just going to keep it as a free service and you're going to upcharge, you know, final seller fees and all that stuff. So this is it right here. All right, I'm going to click off that. Let me find where the first one is. So we're going to move into incident number one. Now, there are plenty more instances out there. I'm just using these two for an example. And 
Boom. Oop, let me scroll up. Because I was reading through all these comments. Sorry, guys. Thought I had this already scrolled up. My bad. Completely on this one. So I think this was posted... I don't know if it was on, like, Instagram or Twitter. I cannot remember where all these came from. So this Ken Griffey Jr. right here, 97 Don Ross Crusade out of 25, Red Refractor, Sample Rare. See, there's a little blue check mark with the guarantee. Sold for $33,100. I'm guessing at the time of checkout, when they have all this in, they offer all this craziness down here. I don't know if the seller's paying for it to buy her. I don't know until later on. But somewhere in that process, it's elected to go and get, you know, certified true card, get the little cool sticker, hologram, and you get your card saver one, little cardboard plaque. Okay. Got it. Scroll down. This is how the person received it. Now, when I first saw these, I never got to see how it was packaged and stuff. But in the video, I promise you coming up, you're going to see how it all unfolds. Look at how this band up here is crushing in on the sides. The Griffey's come out. The PMG I'm about to show you is going to have whiting at the top up here um, in a video. They don't know if that was it or off of the video or off of the off of this or somehow got destroyed elsewhere. But I remember them talking about the picture of the PMG that it did not look like it had the amount of whiting it did onto it. But this card basically is coming out of the sleeve because here's where the sleeve ends, right here, all right? Coming out. And then you got this, uh, I don't know, they call it straps. To me, it's just a fancy rubber band, cloth material thing. And you can see one down here as well, too. Now, my thing is, if you're pushing in on these sides so tight, this could loosen this middle up to where this card is going to slide. Normally in a card saver one, you're not gonna have there's not a whole lot of room for this thing to wiggle around. You guys know this stuff, it mails stuff off to either Beckett, SGC, PSA, etc. etc. So with this pinching, this could be a result of it too. I was not a fan of this because I was like, that's not good because it I got what they're trying to do is make it look fancy and cool. But when it comes down to here, this card's supposed to be sitting down here. You guys can see my little mouse uh, pointy finger there. That band could be on that corner right there. Now you're kind of like, you know, putting the card in a little damage if you're going to try to get it graded. As you can see, it says eBay, not the way to ship. It looks like they did uh, give it a little team bag and everything. Of course, they had to because of this here void if damaged. But my piece is, how easy is it to duplicate this sticker? Because there's no kind of like barcode, scan code that I can see onto this. Other than this thing down here, which I have no idea if that's like imprinted onto the actual card saver that you get your little phone, use your QR code or whatever. So this is just example one of it. They're falling out. And... Damage can occur. You look at it, there's some whiting here. Now, again, I don't know if that was on the original picture, but somebody spent $33,000 on this card, and this is how they receive it. One, shame on you, eBay, and two, shame on you if it is CSG. I'm pretty sure it's CSG doing this stuff, and I'm guessing they're going off the guidelines that eBay's given them because I don't know if this card goes to CSG, then comes back, and then uh, eBay ships it out, or what, how a whole process goes. There's not much that I could find on to it. But I'm sure somewhere if I dig into the nook and crannies of their whole explanation, it's probably laying in there. Just like how the upcharge is coming up March 1st. You really had to dig into the changes being made. All right, so that's the Griffey. I'm going to go ahead and transfer over so you guys can listen and watch this video onto the PMG. And you guys get to see the box, how it all displays and everything like that. I'm going to start it after he opens the box up because there is some address stuff onto it. So you guys will kind of catch it like as soon as he shows the blue box type deal. And I'll be right back. We'll hit a little bit more onto it. And then I'm curious on what everybody else's thoughts are on this. All right, guys. Be right back after this little clip cards and card trading and i hope they don't ever pay us you know make us charge for this 
I, th I hope that they build it into their business model to help retain, um, retain us as buyers I, and sellers on their platform. I think they'll have to, yeah. There are way more options, right? There's more options of people opening up and like, you know, watching, you know, buying cards. You can go on Facebook and buy them privately. Oh, There's, for sure. Yeah. I think they want us there and they want to keep, and they want this to be part of what they're offering. That's my take. And I hope they don't charge us. I hope you're listening. Well, and it, it, it's kind of funny that uh, you kind of say retention and stuff just because of the fact that, you know, a lot of us have done trades before and we've done like deals that haven't always gone through. And having a third party like this actually does allow you some, I guess, uh, for sureness. You know, in getting your card, yeah, certainty okay. in getting your card that you're, you're, you know, you're talking about. Uh, as long as they're not overhandling it, and, and you know, I just, I just don't like the idea of someone over there damaging my my card on accident, and then me getting into a dispute that they're not willing to help broker. Uh, yeah. yeah, that'd be a bad thing. Yeah. It says they're covering the costs, and it actually said in the memo for now. It actually said we're for now covering the costs. It's like okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Here we go. Uh, Number two. Bam. Okay. There you go. This one's oddly placed in the. Can we can we talk about the placement in there? This little. Yeah. What the what the deal? What the deal? Uh, is, is that out of the sleeve? That that came out of the penny. That came out too. of the sleeve. Okay. What? Yeah, what kind of deal is that? And is that a black little strap? I'd take a picture of that scan though before you touch it. I'm taking a picture of it. It's called a video. <laughs> You're doing a video. A video. So that makes sense. <laughs> it's called a series of moving pictures, you know? Um, that's not good. Be careful. What is uh, that? Is this what you guys would do? I wouldn't do that. I would just take I mean well, you don't, you you're, don't gonna, you're 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 gonna be to. you're gonna be taking that out. So just I mean, just place it somewhere that it'd be nice because I don't know if I'd shove it back down into it. All right, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, this is not going anywhere. Dang it. If you, yeah, you can't do that to those card savers. Don't like that. Look at this. I'm not happy. Steve O's not happy. Scandal's about to cause a scandal. Look at that. <clears throat> Was it there before? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. You see that little tip? I do. I do. Are we happy, guys? We're not happy. What is no. that, eBay? <laughs> what is that? Oh. Let's. Uh... I'm going with you damaged my flipping card, eBay. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> you didn't keep it in a sleeve? That that's not good. That's for sure not good. Um, that's not good. Not good. I mean, if they're going to be doing this authenticating, they can't be doing this to our cards. Look, my card's um, hanging out of the sleeve. Um, as far as that goes, the only the the thing that would help would have helped that is maybe some uh, painters tape or something that uh, or a top uh, loader with like a, like a sticker on top as opposed to like this uh, this. This entire style of sleeve can be prone to this. I mean, is that dented on the side too? You, glad your card wasn't near the freaking edge. Where? What are you talking about? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. There. Oh, look at that. Right look there. That. Yeah. Glad your card wasn't too close to that edge there. Oh man. Man, this sucks. It's, okay, whatever. I'm not that OCD. I'm okay. happy. The card's so beautiful. good. But I am worried about this. I am going to be filing a complaint with eBay, and I'm going to be pointing them to this video um yeah for sure just because i'm like that i'm the guy that sends the soup back a few times if it's if it's not what i want um and i'm sending the soup back on this one ebay i'm coming for you okay can we talk about how awesome this is beautiful this is pretty card. It, it is beautiful it is beautiful yeah i i i'd have to say that the 2013 foils are just amazing up close in person yeah and that's just amazing it's great 
I just wonder if I should keep it in here because they might like, I don't want to take it out and then file a complaint, you know? And then say they, you damaged it while you removed it. I would definitely just set it aside and then maybe do a separate video of just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, we, got, we got a box to break guys. I'm sorry to yeah. harp, harp yeah. on this, but whatever. This is good. I'm kind of mad. I kind of card. It is for PC. So it's not like it's like, you know, for bad, oh, but no, I, I'm not I mean, every, everything could be resold, you know? Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not that. You're, I, we have a different Things outlook. happen. Things yeah. happen. Things happen. Corner looks good in the original photo. Gotta say, dang it. All right, guys, you guys can pretty much see um, from them opening that box up where the card was slid again. Crazy, crazy just the way it is. I don't know if they were trying to go fancy with this stuff or what it may be. I'll scroll back down so you guys can see this here. The good idea fairies need to stop really with this stuff. I understand what they're trying to accomplish, but it's not being accomplished at all in my own opinion. I think that this is just horrible across the board because, again, I don't know how the sellers are shipping this stuff out if they're telling them to put them in a card saver one, but I'm sure they're not. But to receive this stuff in the mail like this is just garbage, especially for as much money as people spending on these cards to begin with. Then you're collecting all your seller's fees, which is about to get raised up. I mean, it, it goes down to where their customer service has been getting very, very poor through, as the years have gone on. I, I guess that's being very nicely stated right now. But, you know, with this here, <laughs> I, I'm sure we're going to see a whole bunch of these start popping out where the cards are fake. We're, I, I'm sure this is not going to play out very well at all. But again, I'm curious what everybody's uh, comments are going to be on this. I don't know if anybody's used it as either a seller or buyer. If you have, please post the comments down there. You get me up an email, too. I Now, I want to say this is probably like the fourth or fifth incident that I've seen in the last week or two of people getting their cards and stuff just sliding out like that. I, I don't see how hard it would have been to use a one touch and put that seal onto it that way. Or, you know, do like how graded cards do it and seal it somehow. You know, if you guys ever look at Fanatics, how they have their little weird grading thing or slabs and stuff like that, something like that, even. Something that's tamper proof. You know, it's not easily going to be forged later on because I, I don't know I think that sticker looks like it, somebody's going to be smart enough to make it up in the long run as well too and then being able to just uh, swap cards out whatever it may be and be like oh this ain't a real card or look this card come damaged whatever it may be I can just see even more issues with this down the road they're just not going to turn out good um, I keep going back, and I know I talk about this a lot, the 90s and early 2000s, how we did just card shows where you got to look at your card, see the card, touch the card, all that stuff. So if you didn't have experience in knowing what you're looking for in a fake, you know, it kind of came back onto you onto it in a way, but it's still, you know, big shame onto the person that had it because they may not have known either. But with this stuff here, people... With the age of the internet and how sales have been going with internet platforms, it's just gotten to the, I don't know how to really put this without having a cuss word into it right now. It's just gotten stupid, what I use the word stupid, because every in any way imaginable to somehow get over onto the seller or the buyer, it's both shoes, has been done. And this is just waiting to open up new and new, many new loopholes in the system. All right, guys, appreciate you watching the video. Have a good weekend. I got to be up early for a card show tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to get up there about 7 or 7.30. Well, 8.30-ish because they open up at 9. I guess they let people in early. See if we can find some deals. I'll get some footage. Try to get that video out uh, Monday because no video for Super Bowl uh, 
Sunday because I know everybody's going to be probably watching the game and everything. All right, guys, take care. Have a good, safe weekend. Catch you all Monday.